What's the word, everybody? It's your boy Jay Sites, and I'm back today, or maybe tonight. I don't know, cause it's hella late. I'm back with another tutorial, and I'm about to show y'all real quick how we uh how we execute in this hot spots look at transition right here, man. So first off, let me just find two pieces of footage because uh, I didn't prepare for this tutorial, but this is just like off the back of my head. So you feel me? We gotta find some footage where it's very dark, but there's a very noticeable source of light in the frame you feel what i'm saying because that's just the best way you're gonna get this look that you're seeing right here on my screen you feel what i'm saying so let me go get a video and i'll be back to show you how to do this man let's get it all right so i have my video right now i'm gonna find two pieces of footage and then i'm just gonna transfer this footage over to after effects and just let and if you want you could use the twixter from the drill essentials v1 or 2 pack or you could just you know come over here and you got to match the frames of the video so this video is 29 point uh 23.976 so i'm gonna add twixter i have a twixter 23 preset but i'm gonna just show you how to do it real quick for me twixter and we're gonna uh, change this to uh uncheck this box and then change it to 23.97 links that may go from 100 that may mean it come to like 55 and then this last key for i'm gonna make this one like 10 mm -hmm. and then we got to press f9 on those keyframes come into this wireframe and hit the value graph and let's just make this a nice little shape curve so let me put this to your liking Now let me just add Twixter to this next one. You can either, you know, if you really want to get mixy, you can um, bring this keyframe back, the very last one, which is at 10, and then make another keyframe at like 250 or 400, and you can zoom your, you know, you can speed your way into the next piece of footage like that, and then just paste the Twixter from the last one onto this one, and make sure the keyframes fit. Me. Now that you have your clip to the speed that you want it to, you can uh, either use my preset or you could come here and uh, add uh, hot spots to the footage and just make a nice keyframe in the middle. And that keyframe is going to be one on the threshold, right? So you want to come back and then bring this down to like zero. And then go here, bring it down to zero. And here's the catch. I see that, right? But first, let's add deep glow. Because I know a lot of y'all like using glow. You can use any glow, but um, deep glow, in my opinion, looks the best with this, right? If you have your glow on zero, just like you have your threshold on zero, both of those keyframes lined up, you can just get that look boom all right and then you can bring the exposure down once you get into the next um set of footage all right you can add another adjustment layer all right and you can add flicker or you can add this this is in my presets too i'm just saying bro <laughs> you can add the focus all you have to do is add fill damage and take away the grain amplitude, the stain, dust, hairs, scratches. Everything here can stay at zero and just have your flicker at 0 0.235 and have your defocus at 0 0.05. And all right, so since this is hella slow, let me uh, up this uh, flicker to like 0 0.5. Right, and now let's keyframe these. Uh, let's keyframe these. Let's uh highlight all of these. Right, this is a trick. If you have all of the keyframes open by pressing like U on your layer, <coughs> highlight these jaws. Go into the wireframe. You uh just bring this in some. Oh, make sure to highlight this as well. It's middle key for eight. And this one, so. Sort 
But if you want to have your glow in there for a little bit longer, you know, you could relax. And if you want to, like, capture like, only certain lights, <clears throat> you have to play with the threshold on the D-Glow. And you see, it'll give you just highlights on those lights, up the radius, and maybe bump that exposure up some more. And bang this down to like, all right let me source y'all up real quick if you make a keyframe at the flicker right you can start this at 0 0.6 at the beginning of your footage right and if you bring it to where your clip transitions you could boost the flicker up to 2k i mean i'm so whoa i'm sorry not 2k 2 like 2.0 <laughs> and you can fix the keyframe in the graph and depending on the beat, right, and flow of your video, you can smoothen it out and it'll flicker and flash before it even gets to transition. It just gives this cool, flashy effect. You feel me? It's way smoother. You feel what I'm saying? Everything lit. Everything lit. It's lit. It's lit. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, man, that's really all I got for y'all today. Uh, I really couldn't give y'all the tutorial on the rotation part because that's an in-camera transition. You feel what I'm saying? It looks better when it's done in camera. So if you do shoot videos, start twirling your camera at certain parts of your video. And remember when you did your last twirl so you can get transitions like that. You feel what I'm saying? But, but yeah, man, that's how you do that. You feel what I'm saying? That was just a little quick tutorial, man. If you like, drop a, oh, if you enjoyed it, drop a like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to be back with more. Make sure y'all go tap in to that website, jsites.nyc. All your latest, most fire editing packs. And I'm out of here, y'all.